Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkle Zunky and welcome to my 1 to 99 divination guide. So in this guide, I'm going to be touching over all the aspects of training divination. I won't be talking about stuff such as uh, divine locations that you can do since those are mentioned in my guide when I talked about dailies and I've also mentioned them in other videos. But in this guide, it's strictly going to be talking about how to train divination from 1 to 99. So I'm going to first of all be showing you all the locations and also giving you all the XP per hours and at what levels you should be doing them. So first of all, there you start out with Pale Wisps at level 1 divination and these are located south of Draenor Village right by the entrance to the Wizard's Tower. The easiest way to get there is by using the Draenor Lodestone and then just running straight south and you will be doing these from level 1 and you will be staying here until level 10. So the XP is quite slow as you would expect for when you're just first starting out a skill. You'll start out with about 4.6k XP per hour and if you use enriched XP which is using the energies that you collect from the memories when you um, harvest memories from these springs on the ground you also get energies as well if you end up using those energies um, you'll get bonus XP which is called enriched XP and I'll touch on that a little bit more in the video and talk about whether it's worth it or not um, but for now just know that the regular XP per hour rate is shown and also the enriched XP per hour rate so the second one is flickering wisps which is just to the east of the Falador lodestone you'll be here from level 10 to 20 about 6.3k XP per hour there so getting a little bit faster the next one is bright wisps from level 20 to 30 so these are in the dig site the easiest way to get here is if you have dig site pendants however if you have not done the dig site quest and also a little short mini quest afterwards to unlock the dig site pendants the fastest way to get here is just to teleport to Verak and run straight to the east I would recommend since this place is a little bit annoying to get to probably go all the way from 20 to 30 here without leaving the XP per hour is about 8.5 K here and the enriched is nearly 10 K XP per hour so it's really starting to speed up up a little bit and don't worry it gets even faster as you advance levels so of course divination is a really really slow skill um, one of the slowest in the game arguably the slowest skill in the game however um, it is worth it since it is a money-making skill unless you choose to use your energy on it you can also spend extra money for it to go faster but for most people it is a money-making skill and it's also fairly afk and the next location is from level 30 to 40, just south of Sears Village. You just want to teleport to the Sears Village Lodestone, or the Catherby Lodestone. Either one works, really. And it's just to the southwest of the Flax Field. Um, with this one, there's a lot of trees, and also the wisps are a bit spread out. So this is one of the more annoying locations in the game. However, it's definitely worth going here, since it's quite a bit faster than the dig site, about 11.7k XP per hour normally or 13.4k XP per hour if you're using the enriched wisps and again you're only here from 30 to 40 so it won't take very long anyway and then you'll be able to head off into the next location so the Sears Village location is where it really starts being grindy you won't be able to get like 10 levels in an hour anymore so you just got to realize that the skill is going to slow down and it's going to stay pretty slow so you're really in for the long haul here and 99 divination is really going to be quite a bit of a grind so the next location is outside the Slayer Caves and Relica. So there's two really good ways to get here. One is if you have Slayer Rings, you can just teleport straight to the Relica Slayer Caves and you'll be right there. You can also use the Fairy Ring code there. I didn't, I missed what it was on screen, but you can see on screen what the Fairy Ring code is. Um, I believe it was AKQ or something like that. But anyway, the Sparkling Wisps are level 40 to 50 divination, about 18k XP per hour. So it's starting to get a little bit faster or 21.1k um, XP per hour with the Enriched. And this is just by Relica. Also, if you don't have access to Fairy Rings or Slayer Rings, the best way for you to get here is just use the Relica Lodestone and teleport straight south. And if you don't have that unlocked, use the um, Sears Village Lodestone run north, but that's quite a way. So you want to make sure you get one of those Lodestones or teleport methods unlocked. The next method is the Gleaming Wisps, and you'll be here from level 50 to level 60. And these are right by the Nature Altar. So if you have a Wicked Hood, it's a very convenient teleport. It puts you really, really close to the Wisps location. So I'd recommend just putting a Nature Talisman into your Wicked Hood and using that. Just be aware that you can only teleport it here a few times a day. So don't leave too often. And it's about 27.7k XP per hour or 31k XP per hour with Enhanced L Energy. Um, also, if you don't have the Wicked Hood unlocked uh, with the Nature Talisman, you can just teleport to the Karanja Lodestone and then run to the southeast a little ways. And the next one is Vibrant Wisps, so this is by far the easiest location to get here, too. You can either use the Mobilizing Armies to teleport, which is a Law, Air, and Water Rune, or you can use a Ring of Dueling to teleport here. Either one works, and you'll be here from level 60 to 70. And this is getting faster, about 33.6k XP per hour, or 40.1k XP per hour with using enriched XP. So all the XP per hour rates I did get off of the RS wiki, so some of them might be not be 100% accurate, but I don't really have the time um, to test all of these because that would be a very, very, very long 
uh, process to test all the XP rates of all the Wisps. So I'm just going to go with the XP rates on the wiki and just hope that they are, for the most part, pretty correct. And the next one is Lustrous Wisps. This is pretty easy to get to as well. You just use the Canifus Lodestone, which I believe you need the Priest in Peril quest to unlock or something like that. But you'll be here from level 70 to 80, um, much, much faster than previous locations. The XP rate really shoots up here about 46k XP per hour or 50.3k XP per hour if using enriched XPs. So even though your XP rate is going to be a lot faster, it's still going to take a while to level up, so just be aware of that. Uh, the next location, now we start getting to the places where you unlock another Wisps every five levels instead of every 10 levels and it'll stay that way until level 99 which is pretty cool so the brilliant wisps are right by either the polypore dungeon or you can also use a ring of dueling to teleport to the alcarid duel arena or you can also um, just use the alcarid lodestone and run to the northeast but the by far the easiest way is just use a fairy ring and use the code bip on the fairy ring and you'll, it'll put you outside of the polypore dungeon which is really really close to the brilliant wisps and you'll be here from level 80 to 85 um, it's a bit faster and about 48 kxp per hour. The problem with this is the whiffs are really spread out and they're far away um, from the location where you deposit them. However, it definitely is worth training here over the Canifus spot, even though it's not that much faster. Um, but yeah, you won't be here very long, only to level 85 anyway. The next one that you train at is level 90 or level 85 to 90, and this is the Radiant Wisps. So you have a couple choices here, and I'll talk on those, about those in just a second um, but this location is on dragon tooth island so by far the easiest way to get there is just use a uh, ectophile to teleport to ectofunctus and then just follow the route that i take and uh, the guy here does not he didn't charge ecto tokens for me the ghost captain but i believe that has something to do with the mauritania diaries i'm not 100 percent sure about that i couldn't find it um, on the internet whether that was true or not but I believe if you haven't done the Mauritania Diaries he might charge Ecto Tokens or something like that I'm not sure just be aware if he does charge Ecto Tokens I'm sorry so it's about 50k XP per hour here um, from level 85 to 90 and if you have not completed the dealing with Scabaris quest um, for one I'd recommend you for you to complete it and if you don't want to complete it you will be staying here until level 95 because the next location although it is faster XP per hour is just too annoying if you haven't completed that quest so the next location is luminous wisps from level 90 to 95 by far the easiest way to get here is a pharaoh scepter or you could also um, use a slayer ring to teleport to paul Nivnich, and then run south and take the magic carpets to this city where i'm in here i believe it's called sophonim and then just you'll run south from there but the easiest way is just use a pharaoh scepter to teleport to the pyramid plunder mini game and you'll be here from level 90 to 95 and again if you have completed the dealing with scabaris quest you want to make sure that you have a water tiara you just just use water runes on a regular water tiara. You buy a water tiara off the GE, use water runes on it, and it'll become an enchanted water tiara, and you want to wear that. If you can't do that, I would recommend to stick with the Radiant Wisps because um, you'll have to bring water skins, and it just makes it very, very annoying for staying here for long periods of time. So it's the dealing with Scabaris quest to unlock the Enchanted Water Tiara, and I would highly recommend doing that quest before you train here. It really is worth it because, as you can see, it's almost 6k XP per hour faster, and that really adds up since you'll be, in, be here many, many hours. So I'd recommend to get that quest done, and if not, just stick with the Radiant Wisps. It will be quite a bit slower but oh well um, and the final location the best XP in the game is the incandescent wisps and the easiest way to get here is to teleport to the fairy ring south of castle wars and then just run to the west the west or you could also teleport to castle wars itself and then run south and then west um, I don't know of any other good ways to get here so there's the only two ways I know of and you'll be here from level 95 to 99 and onwards if you're going for 200 mil XP or something and the XP per hour here is right about 60k or 71k if you're using enhanced XP so this place is really really easy because it's it's easy to get to it's not as far of a run as some of the previous locations like the Radiant and the uh, Luminous Wisps were really far away from the teleport locations um, this is a lot closer to a teleport location in the fairy rings and much easier to access so I like this location a lot better and you will be here to 99 so this is the fastest XP in the game so of course it's going to be the best place to train um, but anyway, that's about all for the location, so I'm going to touch on some of the um, intricacies of the skill itself here. But hopefully now you know all of the XP rates, which for the most part should be pretty accurate. Um, hopefully they are anyway. I did not test them myself, so just be aware of that. 
Um, so I'm going to talk about normal XP versus enriched XP. You can either convert your energy into normal XP, or if you wish, you can convert it into enriched XP. But the problem with enriched XP is if you are using normal memories, it will cost 5 energy to do so. And if you are using enhanced memories, it will cost 10 energy to convert them. It is about, it depends on what type of wisp you're using, but it's usually between uh, 8 to 10% or 8 to 11% bonus XP if you used enriched. It depends on the wisp. Um, there's a full table on the RS wiki if you're curious. I will leave a link to that in the description, which tells you exactly how much bonus experience you'll get for using enriched. Um, but it's not a humongous amount. It definitely will speed up your train. But at the same time, you will have to be buying energy off the GE, and it'll cost around 50 to 100 mil, depending on GE prices, uh, 499 divination. So if you'd rather profit 50 mil instead of like losing 50 mil to 100 mil or something like that, um, it's definitely just worth it to go for the normal solo XP. But if you have tons of money and you're fine with wasting it, you can go for the enriched. Just be aware that it won't be all that much faster. So it's really just up to you whether you'd which one you'd rather do. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about here is Chronicle Fragments. Every once in a while, these are pretty rare because of a fairly recent nerf, but you will have Chronicle Fragments pop out while you're doing Divination, and you can catch them, and they'll give you Hunter XP. The Hunter XP is 10 times your Hunter level, so if you're level 99, you'll be getting almost 1k XP per. You can also wield a Enhanced Yachtway Stick from catching Charm Sprites, which will boost the XP by 5% if you want. And then you can either turn in those. Uh, once you get 10 Chronicle Mem Fragments, you have to have 10 of them. You can turn them in at that Orla Fayweather guy, or girl I guess, um, and she's at the starting location for Divination, or you can also, if you have completed the Wall of Guthix Sleeps quest, you can teleport to Guthix's Shrine and turn them in at the Guthix's Shrine Monument, and you'll get even more Divination XP for doing that, but you have to have 10 Chronicles. Um, or you can just destroy them, you can catch them for Hunter XP and then just destroy them, which is what I do. Also there are Enriched Springs, these will, these will pop up every 20 minutes, and uh, all the energies that you catch from these will be enriched. You can also get enriched memories from normal springs, but the enriched springs have a 100% drop rate of energy, so they're much better because they are double the XP of normal memories. So you really want to be taking advantage of these. They do happen every 20 minutes, so after one happens, it's good to like kind of keep an eye on the clock and 20 minutes later be ready for an enriched to pop up. So make sure your inventory is empty so you can harvest a full memory of enriched springs. And the more people that are there, the longer the enriched spring will last, so it's better to to find a world with a lot of people on it because that way you'll be able to fill up your entire inventory instead of as you saw there only filled up a third of my inventory because there's only two people harvesting from that spring and the final thing I want to talk about is boons um, every Every time you unlock a new location that you go to, you want to make sure you use the energy that you had collected from the last location and make a boon. And this will boost your XP by a small amount. It's only about a 5% XP boost or something like that. But it's definitely worth doing, so you always want to do that as well. Um, there's also an aura that you can get called the Enrichment Aura. I didn't talk about this one because I don't have it personally, so I can't really show it off. But you can buy that from the Solomon store, and it increases your chance for enriched energy. So you might want to check that one out as well. Um, so anyway, that's about all for the guide. Thanks for watching, guys, and farewell.